Beijing has maintained an orange alert, which is the second highest alert for five days. The air pollution is expected to remain at unbearable levels until Thursday. Well, for more on all of this, we are joined now by Teresa Xu from Beijing. And Teresa, how are people reacting to this? How are they coping with this smog? Well, I'm on frustration and concern all over Beijing. Residents are telling me that they're very upset that they're seeing longer hazy days and less fresh air. We could show you some of that right now, actually. You're seeing traffic, uh, thick haze this morning, very cloudy, no sunlight at all, uh, adding really to the low mood of the Beijing residents here. Uh, buildings totally obscured. Now, we understand at this point that the air quality index is dipping, but the haze is here to stay. Now, everyone is hoping that by Thursday, a cold front could uh, uh, come about to ease or disperse the smog. Now, Beijing-based NGO Global Village uh, says that uh, urban residents are definitely becoming increasingly more concerned about the air pollution. Drivers have been WeChatting and tweeting about how unpleasant it is to drive through the haze. Families are definitely panicking. Some of the parents actually told me that they are eager to send their children overseas to study and cited that smog and the bad environment will be number one reasons that they want to immigrate. We also have reports that uh, of an exodus of expatriates or expatriates who are considering leaving China because of the bad air. Now, over the weekend, people escaped the city by going to ski resorts or driving hours away from the city to escape the bad air. Some people stay indoors. Um, we also have reports that international schools are really now uh, implementing measures to tackle the bad air by, for example, installing ventilation systems, uh, seeking professional assessments, and using really high-quality air purifiers to make sure that the school environment is very clean for the school children. They're also cutting down outdoor activities and, in fact, canceling sport competitions when the air just becomes intolerable. Now, Monday was the very first day of school after the spring festival. Schools call off physical exercise uh, classes as well as canceling outdoor activities. Now, a common phenomenon we're seeing this time around again is that the sales of air purifiers and masks are on the surge, but also what that means is that stocks are running low for people who haven't really had a chance to buy these products. So to sum up, concern is high. Precautions are high, Anna. And what about health concerns, Teresa? There must be serious health concerns with this pollution. And how is the government planning on dealing with those health con uh, health concerns? Well, some of the immediate reactions, even for myself, is uh, itchy throat, itchy skin, throat infections coughing, shortness of breath. And in the past week, we've seen really in our clinics here and emergency rooms packed with people coming down with respiratory syndromes. Now, long-term impacts would be lung and cardiac diseases. Scientists are saying that long-term exposure to PM 2.5 could shorten lifespan and increases the chances of lung cancer by 15%. Now, the World Health Organization also says there is a strong link between air pollution to bladder cancer and complications in childbirth. We're also having researchers look into a relationship between air pollution and the impact on the reproductive system. Now, at the same time, we do have an emergency in response system in place. The government is trying to limit cars on the roads by 20 percent. Dozens of factories either suspend or shut down production. Barbecues are not allowed and uh, public works or building works actually halted. Now, the Beijing mayor, Wan Ansheng, says uh, he committed himself to actually slashing PM 2.5 by 25 percent by the year 2017. Now, as of this Saturday, we're starting to impose harsher penalties on firms or plants that do not install emission technology. Violators could face fines up to 500,000 yuan. So a lot of things happening there. Now, the government also uh, told schools to cancel flag-raising ceremonies and at the same time are urging the public to take public transportation instead of driving. But anyway, all those things we could weigh on and we could implement. But everyone is really hoping that a strong gust could happen soon enough to blow the pollution away. Live in Beijing, back to you in D.C. Thanks, Teresa. Teresa Su there from Beijing.